Trends. I'm Mary Burt Godwin. You know what that music means, friends? That means Mike Cost is here talking sports with me. Welcome back. Buddy. What's up, Pinky? What's up, Breast National Breast Cancer it Awareness? It sure Month. is. I'm also carrying over from the Barbie trend a few months ago. I can't get, I can't stop wearing pink. Having a mom who is a breast cancer survivor, I'm uh, very much in tune with what's going on in the month of October, and I wear. You uh, normally wear pink, but today you wore your dang Raiders jacket. That's right, because uh, as we know, the late great Al Davis said the greatness of the Raiders will continue in its future. In the future. Yeah. It's not right now, though. Well, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't on Sunday. No. And who they lose to? I'm sorry, wait. I don't uh, The team in L.A., nobody <laughs> wants in L.A. Hello. I want them back in San Diego. My all, Chargers. Uh, 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 where they belong. And I'll be honest with you, the Raiders belong in Oakland. They belong in Oakland, Chargers belong here. It's I'm just sorry. not right. It's not. The world it's is not, not right with these teams. No. Whenever I see LA before the Chargers, I just It's the same with LV before Raiders. Yeah, it's, it's like, not no, right. no, 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 no. Um, so yeah, they lost to the Chargers. We're two and two. How about, what's your record? You know I know the answer to this, right? Semantics. <laughs> Semantics. They're one and three. One and three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. right. They've it's still won. early. It's still uh, early in the season. Yeah, but How's the their quarterback now that... Well, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Carr, right? It's gone. Carr has gone to the Saints. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Garoppolo uh, is in concussion protocol. He got oh. racked last Sunday night against the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Did not practice or practice a couple times during the week, but they didn't clear him. So Aiden O'Connell, this rookie, who um, you know shows great promise, had a rough game. Khalil Mack of the Chargers got six sacks on him. He fumbled oh. twice. It wasn't a very good coming out party, but he showed glimpses. Okay. Um, and in typical Raider fashion, they went down big, clawed their way back, and then of course the referees gave the game to the Chargers. So it. Uh, oh, that's kind of you're the gonna way, cry, refs. That's kind of, that's kind of the way. all the refs. That's kind, of, <laughs> that's kind well, of the way it turned out. I can't believe I haven't started with this topic. We got to talk about Taylor and Travis, right out of the gate. <coughs> Come on, this is exciting <coughs> stuff. No, this it's is, not. Okay. It's a, Okay, for, for someone like me, who's a fan of Taylor Swift, so and talented, a failer, a failer, I'm a failer. <laughs> I'm a fan of football and of yeah. Taylor Swift. This right. is my two worlds colliding. This is amazing. I love it. For a lot of people, it is. It, she's incredible. She's an incredible performer. So uber talented. And Travis Kelsey, the tight end for the Chiefs, is a first ballot Hall of Famer. That's how good he is. But these convergent universes and now that the nfl is is saying oh the chiefs are 2-0 swifties since they got together enough enough well it's kind of a good thing that they've won the two games that she's been there because i was thinking if they lose they're gonna have to break up because i was saying I mean? is yeah. she is she yoko ono 2.0 right. <laughs> is you know is she gonna be a oh, no. curse <laughs> you know <laughs> sorry i'm just quick today but listen it's 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 entertainment it's a brutal game but it's it's also entertainment i heard that the viewership of the sunday night game was almost what what it is for the super bowl off the charts yeah off the charts i mean i have to tell you i tuned in just for that i was going to watch the game regardless obviously because it's football but mm -hmm. the fact that ticket prices went up yep. and, and, and these are stupid people buying these tickets at this incredible markup just to turn and look at Taylor Swift up there in the in the box in her in her mom jeans or whatever she was wearing. She was wearing shorts. Shorts. No, they were short shorts, but they didn't show you. Oh, okay. They didn't show you. They were anyway. I thought she looked pretty good, and she is pretty. I think they need a Taylor Swift cam. <laughs> they need a Swift cam. Okay, we're done. Segment <laughs> is over. Goodbye. <laughs> That's America Transfer so, today, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'll move into my, my sports <laughs> topics. Okay, so let's talk about the people that are 4-0, because there are su some teams that are 4-0. Eagles? Super good. Super good. 49ers. Super, are we Super Bowl-headed? Uh, if if, again, it all has to do with consistency and avoiding the big injury. Mm -hmm. But they've, they've got a great offensive line. Jalen Hurts, I absolutely love him as their quarterback. You talk about a man. Uh, that's Jalen Hurts. Okay. Uh, Eagles certainly in the conversation. All right. And Niners. Niners are awesome. Really? <laughs> oh, I'm the excited. Niners, the Niners defense not only want – the Niners not only want to beat you, they want to beat you up. 
Okay. It's, it is a street fight when you're taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Are they ready to come back this year and, and, and I, get in a Super Bowl? I think so. Yeah. I think so. And, and something tells me that the Chiefs' magic is going to run out towards the end of the season. Mm. Uh, but, man, the 49ers and the Eagles are just Okay, so this is what I want to do. Right um, Christy in our control room, we're going we're gonna to get this. Mark okay. this down for when I want you to do your prediction. Early in the season, we're only four games in. Sure. I want you to predict who we're going to see in the Super Bowl. Right I here. think you're going to see the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. That's the And call. I think the Niners are going to are going to, to win, win it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That, what about you? First. I uh, the Chargers and the... No, I don't... <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Bengals. Bengals. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty good this year. Yeah. Uh, I I don't I haven't watched enough to be able to say I'll study it up this week and then I'll come back this week. Great answer. I don't want to say out of my butt. I'll no tell worries. you who I don't think it is. How about that? I don't think it's the Bears or the Panthers. <laughs> oh my God, bad. No, no, no. The Bears. Uh, the Panthers, obviously, with a rookie quarterback and and Bryce Young is kind of, you know, finding his way through the NFL. And there's going to be you got to cut your teeth. There's going to be baby steps. But Justin Fields with the Chicago Bears who had a good game Sunday even though they lost. Mm. But that's a Bears team right now that they're pointing fingers in the locker room. They're looking at their head coach saying, what are you doing here? It's it's a bad scene. Okay, this is reminding me. I want to segue over to Major League Baseball because we're heading into the playoffs, and one team that's not going to be there is the Padres. <sighs> what a chance. Now, this team that has spent so much money yeah. – uh, this marks the second time in the wild card era since 1995 that the teams with the top three payrolls, Mets, Yankees, and Padres, all missed the playoffs. It just what shows you it, it, money in certain circumstances can buy a championship, but you can have all the money in the world. But if, you, if you're not cohesive and you don't have a clubhouse that's together. You don't have a culture or team aspect. That's yeah. what Manny Machado is saying. Right. He's being interviewed that there's just no cohesion. We had um, Steve Finley on one of our other shows last you week. You talk about a great clubhouse man when he played baseball. Padres. That, that was, was a team, team that was together. That was a team that had each other's backs. That te that's a team that had fire. You look at the Padres, and I don't know if it's people come to San Diego just to, re you know, huh. Yeah. Whatever, but Sean Manea. Go to the beach and has some kombucha. Yeah, and, but yeah, that you look at that you look at that team and there's no fire. No. They're okay. just like, nah, eh, whatever. I keep tuning in to hear these big names and see what their their stickers the the paychecks are for. <laughs> sticker not, shock sticker is shock. what it is. Sticker shock. Yeah. 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 It's it's kind of sad. It's a bummer. It is. Well, thanks for being here today. Oh, it's Mike been my Costa. pleasure. Always great to come in I, after uh, a Raider Charger game. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about the NBA next time you're here because they're revving up. Oh, my God. Just remind me or you have to get the picture of Jimmy, Jimmy Butler of the Heat at their media day yesterday. Okay. We'll pull it up. Oh, my God. Uh, Jimmy Butler. You're watching America Trends. We're here again every night of the week, 10 p.m. on BizTV.com. See you again tomorrow.